ago doing our first workout inspired by someone else. This was actually suggested by David Anthony of our Patreon, so thank you, David. We uh, tried it out, we're gonna give it a shot. As you can see, Brennan got started with a little bit of mobility. Didn't say so in the ROCKS program, but we decided to do it ourselves, and we're getting started with V-bar lap pull downs, four sets, eight to 12 reps. This is the first exercise that the ROCK performs. It's a pretty typical uh, bodybuilding split, as you'll see soon. It's back and biceps, so it's two pulling motions kind of paired up with each other. Uh, the V-grip pull downs is first, like uh, Hudson was saying, right into the reverse grip, bent over rows with the uh, cambered bar here. So you get a little bit of an angle in there. Not a huge difference other than maybe some comfort in the wrists um, in comparison to like a straight bar. But um, the underhand kind of row is, is definitely good for not only the lats, but also the biceps as well. And you can see the rep range varies a little bit. It says eight to 12 reps. What we went ahead and did is we just went 12, 10, 8, 8 over the course of four sets. But Seeing as it's not really specific, that much is up to you. Right on to the dumbbell uh, low row, I guess you would call it, because you are rowing kind of more to the lower section, the hip section, and uh, you're pairing it right up into more of like a high row where you're gonna be rotating the palms backwards and kind of rowing it more to the armpit area as you'll see here in a little bit. But um, one of our favorites though, definitely, is the single arm rows. And as you can tell, we're not quite finished yet because The Rock has a little bit more work left for us to do. We don't want to be jabroni, so we went ahead and went with the one arm dumbbell row to the upper rib cage as he does as well. Rest times in this one uh, is usually around the 30 to 60 second uh, between sets, unless it's a superset, because there are some supersets in this kind of program here, which we love, personally a huge fan of. So I, I think once we saw this kind of program that uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson uh, works out like we're like this fits in perfectly with uh, what we already kind of do and like yeah like Brian was saying not much different actually we're big fans of this kind of split we've done back and biceps many times in the past so other than there being a few new exercises to try out we felt at home the low cable row using the v-bar uh, have not done this too many times have have done most of these exercises in the past but this one is definitely I think kind of a new favorite it just felt really good um, and you get a lot of activation, it felt like, in the rector spinet, but also in the lats as well. Yeah, we could definitely see us doing this in the future. Typically, what we'll do is we'll do a seated V-bar row, but I, I like this standing too. We'll have to try it out in the future. So with the with kind of all this rowing stuff, this back stuff, you know, the biceps are definitely a secondary muscle group. So they're already kind of being worked quite a bit in all these pulling motions, and we're moving on to the behind the neck. Uh, pull down. So Ooh. if you do not have good shoulder mobility, skip this one for sure. Go to the front. Uh, but as you can see, it's supersetted right in with the back extensions. Now these can be hyper extensions, or they can just be these. I'd rather call. I like to just call them extensions. I mean, honestly, they're called hyper extensions because you're hyper extending the back. But I don't feel like that's the safest for everybody. So don't feel like you have to hyper extend uh, your spine or your back. Just feel like you get about parallel with the floor, and you're still getting activation in the rectus spinae muscle and core as well. Yeah, Dwayne likes to get right on that fine line of danger with moves such as the behind the neck lap pull down. That can be a little bit of a controversial exercise. So as Brandon said, you can just do it in the front if you'd like. Now we're moving on to biceps. Seven sets, as you can see the last one was seven, this one was seven as well, so high volume. So this one is definitely high volume, high intensity. The high volume is the amount of sets and reps and exercises. The high intensity is the lower rep, uh, excuse me, the lower rest range to really keep that heart rate up. And uh, Machine Preacher Curls, there we go. One of a top favorite for sure. With those seven sets, that can be pretty brutal. And that's for someone who's used to working out quite a bit in the gym. Typically, me and Brandon won't do seven sets. We really never go more than probably five at the max, even that's kind of pushing it. You will usually stay around the four set range. With this higher volume, higher intensity is definitely, it's not for beginners. Uh, it's definitely for more advanced, just because you're stressing the muscles quite a bit through this uh, single workout. Um, putting a lot of load on the muscles, so the recuperation, the recovery rate uh, will be kind of difficult if you're not used to it. Now we're moving on to the front double curls, or as we like to call them, the crucifix curls, because it just sounds better, come on. The uh, Jesus Christ curls, let's <laughs> we'll just say that, that's pretty much the same. <laughs> the redemption curls, yeah, <laughs> you're building those biceps. Arm flexion, it's all about that elbow flexion, and as you can see, it works pretty well. Biceps are flexing, the thing is, try to keep some tension on this. to 
more preacher curls. With this one, it's the dumbbells. So the dumbbells, they are working independently from each other rather than using a bar. So you can, you can kind of feel the differences. A lot more uh, stability kind of is going to be involved in the motion. And as Hudson was doing, you can supinate. You can add a little bit of extra motion in the movement to really get a, just get some more activation in there, which feels really nice. Yeah, as you can see, Dwayne is a big fan of curls. There we go, there's the rock workout. I can't say it was easy because it was tough. That man is a set machine. So as Brandon was saying, probably a little bit more for intermediate or expert. We ourselves normally wouldn't do that many sets, but it did feel good. It was a workout we felt comfortable with. We were kind of used to this kind of style of workout anyways, so it kind of fell in line with what we're already used to. We're not, we are not stepping out of the comfort zone quite yet, but in the future, if you recommend anything in the comments that you would like to see us try out, uh, we would much appreciate it. Let us know future workouts. We'll take them on. We'll let you know what we think. And until then, as The Rock has never said, stay buff. You're both a couple of world-class international a-holes. <laughs>